Alrighty, so just a short video while we wait for the freight train that is update 15 to smash home. It's going to be a lot of fun to update with some huge changes for us. With changes to Warframe, Ability, Polarities in particular, apart from the Arcwing of course, and uh, the factions. But this video isn't about the update or its changes and I will of course cover all of that once the update hits hopefully this week. So lately I've been leveling a lot of weapons, some with multiple former and some just for mastery rank. And with leveling weapons over and over you of course are going to want a frame that's going to make it as fast or effective as possible and not as boring I guess. So is the Speed Nova the ultimate leveling frame? Over the last week I have to say that using her has made it such a quick grind and enjoyable as well. And maybe you're wondering how so many players or streamers or YouTubers in particular can put so many former into a weapon in such a short period of time. And apart from having a good squad of friends to help you nail out those levels, uh, your frame choice is the difference between it going fast or slow, or it being fun or not fun. And now of course things like affinity boosters and picking the right dark sector missions that also gives bonus weapon experience is another big boost towards uh, leveling a weapon as quick as possible. Like say picking Satura on Pluto if you're leveling your primary weapon is a lot more effective than not. Or for melee I pick a Simini or Simini on Ceres I think it is. Uh, for boosting up my melee weapons. So in case you don't know what a speed nova is or haven't seen one or maybe you've had your head in the sand, it is a nova of course that has no power strength mods and has an overextended mod on as well to increase the range but also reduce the power strength of her molecular prime. So basically the way molecular prime works is the more power strength you have the slower the ability will make enemies run and the less power strength you have the faster the run. And I'll be honest, with the speed boost from Nova's Molecular Prime, if you have a modded for speed, it just makes those infested waves pass by so, so fast. It makes leveling easy and really quick. And don't think for one minute that if you see anyone running a speed Nova, that they're not secretly hoping to kill another player. If it's your Nova, then I know a small part of you wants that single lone Tenno that's standing at the pod with his melee weapon out to practically shit himself when he sees all of those infested sprinting towards him. Yeah, there is a little bit of evil there, you know it and I know it. When I'm running with a speed nova that thought has entered my mind maybe once or twice so <laughs> maybe I'm a bit evil. But there are other frames that maybe you guys feel are a little bit better for leveling things up. Like I'm also fond of using Vauban built for vortex only to gather up as many enemies in front of the pod as possible so you can just shred them all down. And probably one of the best group combinations is having a speed nova, a Vauban in the same leveling group and if you throw in a trinity as well for energy vampire to keep everyone topped off it means that you can max level a weapon in one single mission i've done it and i've seen plenty of other guys do it as well but let me know in the comment section below who do you love to level weapons with who's your favorite frame for leveling weapons that makes it that bit more tolerable and uh, easy for you also let me know what has you hyped the most about update 15 whether it's the arcwing whether it's the mod polarity changes, whether it's the new factions and the rewards that we might get from those as well. Or maybe it's something entirely different. Let me know in the comment section below and of course I will be covering it all once update 15 hits. I might even stream it for the first time. It might be my first stream on Twitch. I might do update 15 stuff. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button for more Warframe content. And as always, thanks very much for watching.